What up guys, welcome to Tuesday's vlog. Hey guys, woke up later than usual because today I work two to seven. <clears throat> Blood sugar was 154 at 9 a.m. I was assuming it was gonna be higher. I slept at 70 and I knew it was gonna rise because I had a bunch of pistachios and seeds. So yeah, I'm making breakfast right now. I just took two units of Novolog in my left leg to correct it, get me down to the 100 range. I started bleeding a lot after that leg injection, intramuscular shot. I hate when that happens. I don't know if there's gonna be a green mark. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I took seven units of R syringe, split it in two different sides of my stomach. Let's eat breakfast soon. All right guys, so I got two cooked eggs I just flipped, and then I got some egg whites and one turkey frank hot dog. Uh, vitamin D's right there, sugar-free syrup, hot sauce. Coffee's right here, and then after I eat the eggs, I'm gonna have my protein pancakes. I like them eating them really hot, so I'll heat them up after I eat the eggs. Got the batter left to put on top of there. The usual. All right, guys, I'm planning on taking you guys behind the studio with Hassan, because today we are going he has a studio session from 1 to 3. I have work at 2. I thought I'd just catch up for like 40 minutes, kind of hang out with him. I already got a lot of my uh, vlog uploaded, Instagram posts ready. So, see you guys there. What up, Hassan? Oh, bro, I got the sack on the <laughs> All right, we're here. Lights out. Colin. Colin. Alright, so let's go ahead and run these uh, tubs again. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ready. Yeah. <laughs> Call it. Call it. Call it. Ooh. Does what you're saying sound like this? Alright guys, take two. <laughs> it's almost two o'clock, gotta go to work, just left the studio. Uh, I wish I could stay there longer, but I gotta go to work. I'm feeling like sluggish because probably the high blood sugar i corrected with two units of novolog maybe the two units in the morning didn't go through because i was bleeding bleeding from my injection so i think when we our blood sugar is high we confuse it with hunger like i'm actually feeling a little hungry but tired and sleepy it kind of sucks like it just doesn't feel right food's not being you know absorbed the, the essential nutrients um, so I took another two, gotta go to work. We'll see you guys soon. 7.42 p.m. I am home. Just cooked up dinner, blood sugars. I kept, I stayed sluggish throughout my day at work. Just sitting down, like feeling like At like 3.30, my blood sugar was 80. And I had my walnuts, almonds, and cucumbers, which is probably about 10 carbs total. That was like my lunch-ish. Didn't take any insulin for it. Hour later, blood sugar was 69. I took one tablet, and blood sugar was 70 at like seven o'clock. I just took six units of R, five and three quarters. Here's dinner: egg whites and a little bit of the chicken thighs from the Arabic restaurant. Two boiled eggs. The rest of the egg whites are right here with the chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, spinach, avocado, cucumbers, um, some lemon, hot sauce. Let's eat, and I'll probably talk more about hip hop or some kind of music to make this the blog content. Hey guys, um, it's about midnight right now i haven't been <laughs> talking to you guys much more much in this week the vlogs have been shorter um, but i don't want to make this too long i'm about to go to sleep um and i want to talk about i, I wanted to talk about hip-hop today but i guess i kind of will i want to say how hip-hop teaches me how to explain my story in an impactful way without having it to be music i love music and when i first started making music I thought that was it for me, I was gonna do that, but I think I just confused my passion with music for actually trying to do it. 
And I can transfer and harness that energy into diabetes. I'm very passionate about diabetes. I don't know if that's going to be it, but I'm not trying to play the it game. I'm just trying to do what's calling my name at the moment. So I was watching hip-hop documentaries, and I'm talking about... I was watching how two artists like Tupac, Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West have created controversy, but from a standpoint of trying to make an impact and a change in the world. Because if we break it down, hip-hop means hip, meaning which is something that's trending, what's going on, what's hip, what's cool. And hop means to move, to move to those directions, hip-hop. So you move towards what's going on. And hip-hop, things are always changing, and people want to knock down different things, like, oh, this is wrong, this is that. Listening to Dr. Bernstein's protocol, which is eating low-carb, ditching the carbs completely, eating a high-protein considerably higher in fat is controversial you know eating more meat eating more protein foods is controversial and going against the standards of the ADA which is a high carb meal the way I'm trying to convey that message is through documenting what I'm doing every day instead of shoving it down people's throat because at the same time I'm still going through my struggle my big struggle a lot of you guys know is food and today I you know today initially has been pretty hard for me I'm just not finding myself in control in terms of my eating I haven't binged ate like if you guys watched previous vlogs I was struggling with that at least once a week and it's been about a week since I haven't binged ate so today was just a bunch of pistachios and I had some walnuts and I and I even went for a protein shake like I drank one I just wanted to drink something sweet after the shake, I was like, this is too much food. Like, I can't I even want to eat anymore. I just want to lay down. I got lazy because I was editing a video. It takes a little longer, and I'm not good at making fancy edits. That's why vlogs are really simple for me. So I stopped editing that. I just kept chewing pistachios. I had a not long day, but I was just sluggish because of my blood sugar. They just kind of brought me down a bit. Yeah, so I just checked my blood sugar. It was pretty high. I didn't expect it to be that high. It was 230 about an hour ago, or I'm sorry, a couple minutes ago, I just took five units of Novolog, I took my 12 and a half units of Levimir, got my eight units ready for the 6 a.m. shot, and uh, I just really want to note that, you know, uh, me going through what I'm going through with food, this is still a progression for me, even though it's a lot of calories, it's a lot of food, it's not the best thing, but it's better than what I've, I've been doing historically, you know, which is if I eat one bad thing, I do one mess up, I toss in the towel. It's an excuse for me to eat whatever I want. It's a stress reliever. And right now, I guess I would say I'm a little stressed out because just hearing, I haven't heard that much negative things, but like hearing stuff about what I'm trying to do with YouTube and whatnot, like I just, I can't think about too far ahead in the future. I just got to do what's exciting me right now. Stop trying to please people and uh, stop worrying about the numbers how much likes am i getting how much views am i getting how much engagement am i getting that, that stuff doesn't matter right now i just want to convey my message uh, put it out there enjoy the process um, and better myself along the way and it, it's internal work really so of course this is um annoying you know i have to deal with these pistachio eating and not deal with but food is is such a such a struggle for me it's insane and I'm not the only one, you know, my mom was telling me a story about today about her, one of her clients in the retirement center. She just eats everything. They just cut off her toe recently. She lives with diabetes. Now, I'm not saying that to scare anyone, but my mom tells her, like, you know, about the complications of diabetes, of eating a crappy diet with diabetes. And she was just like, I can't love food too much. And I didn't really know what to tell my mom. I just told her that, like, you know, it's food is like drugs. It's everywhere. <laughs> so it's hard. Um. I don't want to make this too long, but the way I think I, today would have been the day where I binged, you know, I'm home a little bit earlier from work, it's a rest day, I got most of my work done, and that's, that's how it happens, I snack on something, and then I'm like, let me buy that, let me get that, next thing you know, I'm like, a thousand calories in, um, 12, 15 units in, I'm staying up till 2 a.m., but it's midnight right now, and it feels like it's way later, because I, just a lot of food, and I gave myself a rest day, but this is a win for me, even though in the numbers wise, like I will be gaining weight if I continue this. But in terms of my diabetes, this is definitely a win. 230 is a high blood sugar regardless. And uh, I do need to figure out just 
establishing a resolution in terms of like if I am stressed out about my video editing or content creation to not go to food because when I'm highly when I have a lot of energy and I'm, I'm focused on something I'm busy I don't snack I don't have time for that I'm focused on trying to feel better so I know I'm gonna wake up feeling a little bit different hope hopefully it doesn't carry on too far into the day definitely got some good talk about hip-hop today I'll definitely get into it more I love hip-hop and uh yeah nonetheless thank you so much for watching please hit the like button comment down below your thoughts See you guys. Good night.